Hey everybody, it's John Stoffer. I'm here to bring you a tech tip from MCAM Northwest. So a lot of shops really have a lot of things dialed in. Tool speeds and feeds, how that engages with the part, and how you like those parameters within those tool paths to work. If you've already got that really dialed in, then you can use one of the new functions within Mastercam 2024 to easily load in your saved default settings. I'm going to show you how to take advantage of this quickly and easily and how to apply it to your parts. Let's take a look. So basic part here, all I'm going to do is go up to my dynamic mill toolpath and set an automatic region for this pocket. Green check. Now at this point, I have my tools here and once I have picked my tool, I've gone into my cut parameters and I've set everything the way that I like it. Let's say this is 45%. I'm going to leave 20 on the walls, zero on the floors, and let's set the arc filter tolerance. I like a 50-50 split and maybe five thousandths on the tolerance since I'm leaving quite a bit of material behind. Looks great. So that's exactly what I'm looking for for this tool in this type of material. At this point, I can go back into my parameters and click this save button up here. Rather than having only one set of defaults that I can save, we can now save multiple sets of defaults. So when I click that, it's going to bring me to this panel. I can either save this to a specific file or I can save it to my standard mill inch library. And that's what I'll do here. I can set which machine group within that file or which toolpath group, in this case, my 2D high speed. And by clicking this button down here, I can create a new name for this set of defaults. So let's say this is test number one and click OK. That's going to save all of those settings into that default. That means the next time I bring in a toolpath and I click here, I'm going to add in my machining region. I can just click down, pick test one, and all of my parameters on all of these pages is preloaded. The only thing I really have to do is pick the tool. Another thing that's great about this is that I can change it. So let's say that I apply this and I've got my toolpath here, but I want to switch this out for a different style. I've got a different style here. I've labeled this Niagara 375. Pick that one, switch it to this tool and then apply. And now I have different parameters ready to go. And it follows that particular set of rules that I set in my parameters. You can save as many of these as you like. Give them good descriptive names so it's easy to know exactly what you're looking at. Well, I hope that was helpful for you. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. But more importantly, we want to hear back from you. What do you want to learn about? What kind of tips and tricks do you think would be good to know or things that you want other people to know about? If you want to learn more about Mastercam 2024, go ahead and send us an email. You can email us at sales at mcamnw.com. Thanks and have a good day.